Oh, 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 I just saw that one. It'll still taste good. There he is. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. This one's gonna be a different video because we're obviously here at the pond. You guys have seen me film videos here before. We're gonna do some flipping and also we've got a buzz bait tied on too. So two of my favorite things to do. Uh, we're starting to get into the kind of more of those summer patterns. A lot of these fish in this pond are probably spawned out. So should be some very fun fishing today, but we're also probably gonna do a little bit of morel mushroom hunting in the woods here behind us. So Gonna be a little 50-50, do a little fishing here first, try to catch a few. Then we're gonna go back there, try to find some mushrooms. So, should be a fun day. And I love catching them on braid, and we've got braid on both rods. So, gonna be a freaking time. Uh, but first thing, before we get into the fishing, we have to talk about today's video sponsor, and that is Catchco. You guys know them and love them. We've got the Guggen Squad Catchco Buzzbait, the Hummer on there. And then we've also got these little Biospawn Exopods that I'm gonna be flipping around. And then Chris here behind us, he's gonna be, probably be flipping around this little Biospawn Vilecross. So, Awesome, awesome baits. Gonna catch a ton of fish, but without further ado, let's get into the fishing and then into the mushroom hunting after we catch some. But I'm gonna start with that buzz bait and try to get my first buzz bait fish of the year. We are gonna start over here by the dock, like I usually do. It's got some of the deeper water, or at least the access to the deep water. Set that punching stuff down for now, because I need to get a top water blow up. I mean, today, I think that the low temperature, when we woke up, it was like 30 degrees outside, but I know that this water is probably upper 50s maybe even low 60s there's a lot of fish even on the big lakes that are already spawning and some that are even spawned out uh, and i figure like these fish in this pond where it got a lot warmer a lot quicker they're probably already spawned out so should be okay even though we had a cold morning it's not going to be the best top water conditions but i figure we might be able to get one or two to blow up on this buzz bait and that's all i could really ask for then if we have to you know go slow with that punch bait we will and i'm sure we'll catch them that way as well chris actually got bit his first cast so oh and we also got bit our first cast, and <laughs> it's a dinker. Hello, hello, the little buzzbait bass. Let's go. You know, that might be bad luck. Chris got bit his first cast. We caught one our first cast. That's usually what they say. It's a bad omen, but you know what? I'll take a bass on my first cast every freaking day I go out. Let's go. Little guy on the buzzbait. <laughs> first topwater bass of the year. You just want to really creep this thing along. It's a little bit of a reaction strike. I love throwing the buzz baits over the top of bedding fish too, which like I said, a lot of these are probably post-spawn. We're gonna catch a good one on this thing, I think. Wow, what the heck? First cast might be a bad curse after all. <laughs> Both of us, man. Oh, we're gonna put on this little flipping bait. Oh gosh. Still gonna try to get at least one more on the buzz bait. We need like a, at least a solid one. But I'm going to get this rigged up, and we're going to start heading around the pond here. There he is. There he is. Come on, baby. On the buzz bait. A little better bass. Just had to find a little shallower spot that we could get it. Because I can really only run this thing on the outside of the pads for the most part. And a lot of those fish, they're either on beds or, you know, just kind of getting off of them. Maybe guarding some fry and... uh can't really fish this thing in the thick of things so little bass right there had a nice little shallow spot i was able to run this along but a punch bait might be key since we could get it inside of those pads still want to try to catch at least one or two more on this buzz bait if, if possible huh i got one. Oh yes come on baby second flip with that exopod let's go Chris has got three bites over there, but they're just not quite committing to it. I got that lighter weight. That might be key, too. I'm only throwing like a little three-eighth ounce weight. Got a little bass there. Second flip. Exopod getting it done already. Heck yes, dude. I'm telling you guys, this is the two most fun ways to fish, pretty much. I mean, braided line, topwater blow-ups, thick action in the pads with the punching rig. I mean, it does not get much better. Nice thing about these uh, exopods is they're really durable. Usually I can catch at least three or four fish on them. Even on a punching setup where, you know, a lot of other punching baits, you might get one fish and they are toast. So this one right here, we should be able to get at least two more fish off of it, hopefully. Let's see if there's another one kind of right out in front of this drain. It drops down right here. Oh, I just saw some movement in the pads right there. Already having a great day and we haven't even tried to find the morels yet, too. We're going to find some mushrooms, hopefully, in this video. Catching a couple bass. Going to go find some dinner. Going to be an awesome day. Got him. Gosh, that was a really light bite. What is that? 
Oh, it's like a golden bass, man. I thought it was a bowfin or something for a second. She's got some pretty colors. That was insane. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, that's the biggest one of the day for me. Probably, you know, about a Michigan keeper, close to 14 incher. There are some decent sized fish in this pond. The average fish I would say is about this size right here, but we easily could set hook on a four pounder today, I would say. That's the biggest one that I've seen in this pond. Could be some bigger ones, but you know, I will take these fish all day. Like I said, you can't beat that. You literally can't beat that. I'm probably gonna say it this entire video, but you gotta love a braided hook set like that. Let's let her go right in front of this drain here. Might be some more fish back where we just caught her out of. There she goes. What a beautiful bass. Yeah, she was up in the pads, like really, really shallow actually. Just a little pocket. She messed up our exopod a little bit, but we're gonna try to rig this thing on here backwards and probably get at least one more fish out of it. Like I said, these things are pretty durable, hard plastic. She just kind of tore it up where the keeper was up top, so she'll be able to catch another fish on there. We're just throwing that Alabama crawl, like I said. Got that bright orange, really kind of stands out. Looks a lot like a bluegill down there, kind of scurrying around in those pads. Try to catch another one. That one's up in the stuff. There he is. Oh, yes. Right over to the corner. Like three casts. Already got another one. <laughs> She's got the slime, baby. Right in that thick stuff. Come on, Bessie. Nice little pounder. Ate that exopod once again. Get her back in there. I really would love to know if these fish are spawning or post-spawn. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because they should be in the same spot either way, as you guys can see. Um, there might be a mix of both. There might be some on beds and some of these fish might be guarding fry, but either way, they're going to be up in this thick pad and vegetation and they're going to eat this exopod. So we're going to keep flipping. Yep, I knew there was going to be one in there. Oh, is she going to stay on? Yes, yes, yes. There she goes. Oh, she's little. I thought that was going to be a good one, the way that she freaking hit it. Dang. Oh, she's, that might be a little uh, spawning male right there. I think that that might be a little buck bass up on a bed. That's a very small one. She was in a very thick spot, and I was almost positive we were going to get bit right there. So that's good to see. Nice textbook fish. Oh, we just had him drop it. Come on. Come back for her, buddy. Yep, came back for it. There we go. She freaking smoked it, dropped it, and came right back for it like two or three hops later. <laughs> Making our way, you know, pretty much just around this pond. Once we get back to the dock, we're probably going to start looking for some morels too. So Chris has caught three or four fish. She's over on the other side of the pond. I left him that half. I'm going to finish up fishing this right here. Probably catch a few more, and then we're going to go find some mushrooms. There she goes. Another little 10, 12 incher. Come on. Oh, that's the best one yet, dude. That's a good one right there. Oh, and of course she gets <laughs> Oh, I had such a delayed hook set on that one. I was just kind of thinking about mushrooms right there. <laughs> I was already starting, starting to plan the mushroom hunt in my head, and that one freaking smoked it. That was probably about a two-pounder, give or take. You know, 15, 16-incher, and uh, didn't quite get her to the shore. Gosh, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy how they freaking eat it. All right, well, I told you guys we're gonna get one more bite and we're gonna go try to find some mushrooms now. So I'm gonna save some section that we haven't fished yet. Chris is gonna save some section there. We're gonna go try to find some mushrooms and we're gonna come back and catch a few more bass. Hopefully land the next one that's over two pounds that bites. But another little pounder there, still, still a blast. Also, looks like the sun might be popping out. That might even help the bite a little bit more. Let's go find some mushrooms. So we are back where we started here by Chris's truck. We put the rods down for now, and we're gonna have Chris give you guys some background information about what we're kind of looking for here. How are we gonna find these mushrooms? Because he's the expert on morels. I'm the expert on bass fishing in this channel, but he finds all sorts of mushrooms. I've only found like 10 in my entire life, but what are we kind of trying to find here on these woods? Okay, so as far as like the habitat that we're in right now, whenever you're in the Midwest, morels favor elm trees, oak trees, and black cherry trees. And the trees that are half alive, and half dead are the best trees to search around. So when you, the best the thing I do is you like, you look up and you look at the bark and when you see a tree that has the right bark, that's the one you walk towards. And once you get close to the tree, you get low and scan the area around the base of the tree. At that point, if they're there, you find one, there's usually more. So you wanna slow down, 
and from that tree you kind of hop. So you, you pound something from that tree, look around. If you see another one, go to that one, and just scan the entire area. Let's get to it, boys. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's the first find of the day, dude. I wonder what's what's down in there. Probably don't want to get too close. Some sort of animal has burrowed its way underneath that tree. No mushrooms so far, though. So Chris has found the first mushroom of the day after, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of looking. He said it is very small. Where's it at? It's right there. One tiny little morel mushroom. You gonna pluck her or is she too tiny? Very small, not big enough to pick. Uh, not big enough to pick? That wouldn't even be worth my time. <laughs> but, usually where there's one, there's Yes, more. exactly. I was gonna say, but that's a very good sign. Yeah, you find one, usually there's gonna be something else in this area, so. Gotta keep looking. Very small mushroom, about the size of the, the tip of a pinky finger right there. <laughs> Dude, Chris just said he found a big one. We went back to where we started, right here by the pond. Really said, I don't know if, can you spot it from here? It's behind some grass, dude, and it's big. I don't even see it. Yeah, Chris has got oh, the secret mushroom you. eyes. He's got the secret <laughs> mushroom eyes. I don't even see it, dude. Where's she at? There might be more. I don't know. Yeah, there might be a couple buried up in this. Beautiful too. This grass. This one's a keeper. This is a 14 incher. 14 inch Michigan bass, dude. This is a keeper. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. It's a perfect morel. Look it's at that thing. This, is, this one grew early in the season, but it's still pickable. And it'll still taste good. Cut it right oh, at the base, yes. you leave the spores. That's a gorgeous morel. <laughs> That's awesome, all right. Awesome find. Well, we got at least one. We found that other tiny little one like I, I showed you guys, but one that we're actually gonna bring home. Chris has already got some from back home in Illinois too, so we're gonna have a little uh, steak and morel feast, I think. Okay. Well, I think that we're gonna call it on the mushroom hunting. We got one big, beautiful morel right there. And we're gonna get back to try to rip some bass out of these pads because that was a lot of fun. We pretty much scoured all of these woods right there. Probably spent a good, you know, 45 minutes, an hour really quick just kind of going through and saw one baby and this guy right here, which was right, you know, pretty much next to the truck. <laughs> of course, because why wouldn't it be? But we're gonna go flip that exopod back into a couple of bass's face. Got him. There we go, back to bass fishing, baby. Freaking crushed it. <laughs> you got one too? Did you just miss one? <laughs> I think that was like five flips in. I already got another fish. Come on, baby. That was a little dink. We gotta get one of those decent ones. We both missed a decent one, but neither of us have caught a fish over like maybe a pound, pound and a half tops. I don't think either of us have a fish that's like, you know, 15, 16 inches. There he is, though. <laughs> Gosh darn, baby! <laughs> they are. I've caught a couple that look like that. A couple of little golden bass. I thought the one was like a bowfin or something for a second, which I've never caught in here. Yeah, nice little golden nugget right there. Somehow hooked her in the bottom of the lip. Never know how that really happens, honestly. There she goes. Heck yeah. Another fish. Another flip, another fish. Oh my gosh, dude! That one almost pulled the rod out of my hand. <laughs> Not even a freaking big one at all. Jeez, that one caught me off guard. So we kind of saved like two little areas before we went uh, mushroom hunting so we could go catch a couple more and we hit those, caught a couple fish, and we're kind of fishing back through the areas that we already caught some and it's pretty fished out. So not really getting a lot of bites. That one caught me off guard. We're gonna make our way pretty much around the rest of this pond, see if we get any more. But uh, we definitely have picked it apart pretty thoroughly, so I'm not sure how many more bites we're gonna get. So we were literally about to leave, and Chris came back over here where we found that other mushroom one last time. And check out this dude that we walked right past probably like three times. <laughs> Beautiful little more morel mushroom. There you go, bud. You're always missing some. Always missing some. Two mushrooms, two keepers. This one came up early in the season. You yeah, can tell that's it's, get, it's getting kind of old, but it's yeah. still okay to eat. Super old, dude. Just like the other one, it was kind of old. Oh no! Look at that. They're dead. That's no good. No one picked them. I know we weren't we... here. We weren't here in time. <laughs> no. Maybe that's why we didn't find a lot too. Maybe a lot of them are kind of done. I think a lot of them are done, but I think there's 
There's a couple waves, just like bass spawn and waves, mushrooms true. growing waves. So just like that little one we yeah. saw earlier, there's gonna be another wave of little grays. Right. Little little babies still sprouting up, but some yeah. of those old ones are dying off. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 I just saw that one. <laughs> oh no! Chris just found two more. We're getting ready to leave, and we're just kind of going through this area again. If you guys kind of noticed earlier on in the day, it was raining outside, it was a lot harder to see. We're just kind of really picking this area apart where we found those morels, and look at that jumbo that he just found right there. Just walked right past these mushrooms. Look at that thing. Freaking nuts. Giant tall one, another nice one right there. We got four morels now. Just flipped the whole day around on them. <laughs> just, you know, picking up, he found the first one right there, that first good one that we found, and we're just kind of picking that area apart, like he said, and finding a few more. Yeah, Check like those. Said, you're always missing them. Yeah. That's why when you find one, just, when you found that one, look in the same spot, you know? Awesome. There's usually more that you can't see. You're Very see. good find right there. So that is officially gonna be a wrap on today's video, guys. I've actually shot this outro like three different times because Chris keeps finding more mushrooms, but we're gonna end the day on four solid morel mushrooms right there. Had a good time in the woods. Didn't really have the best woods to do it in. Chris said there weren't a lot of the right trees, but right here, pretty much right next to the truck is where we found all of these solid ones. So good day in the woods, awesome day in the water. We started the day out with a couple blow ups and the buzz bait, and then we ended the day catching a ton of fish on this biospawn exopod. So if you guys wanna check out Catchco baits, that's gonna be linked down below. Had an awesome time out there fishing and an awesome time in the woods. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you liked today's video, hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a ton. And I will catch you guys in the next video.